Jolie Ming and I'm back doing my thing. Ming babes, we are always on the scene and you know that. If you happen to be a bit lost, then I know you better hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that post notification right next to the subscribe button so that you can be on point next time because I did see you a bit lost. Make sure you like up this video. I really, really, really want you guys to comment down below referring to this video or any other video that you want to see. Now, baby, let's get into the tea. Um, I want to give a shout out to J.R. Chris. This guy right here has been supporting me lately and I've been seeing his name very fluently under my videos and I just want to say I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. So that goes to show you guys that my girl slash real talks, my story times, my not only for the female population, okay? Guys also support me. So I just want to thank everyone that supports me. Without further ado, let's get into this video. So the first question that I'm going to do right now is are you single right now and do you prefer single life or relationships you're in my business yeah y'all getting real you real into my business very soon but i am single right now i actually do prefer the single life with a consistent f well consistent boo because your girl is celibate right now so but yeah i do prefer the single life though since you want to know miss mamas the next question oh my god y'all is too much Yo, listen to this one. It said, how old were you when you started to flick the bean? What? I'm assuming the bean is, you know, the little, <laughs> yeah. But I started flicking the bean probably like 11, 12. What the fuck? I was like pretty young. I don't even know if I was younger than that, but I know I started flicking the bean a little early. Only because I wasn't a sleeper. So when I was up, I would see them late night specials and it's like, Oh, hey, like, what if I try? Like, you get what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not what if I try, but anyways, um, next question. <laughs> Yo, not y'all really asking that question, though. I'm really dead. <laughs> if you fall in another motherfucking video, we're gonna have a problem. Next question is, um, no questions. Females think they know everything. I'm dead. Um, sir, relax. Relax. Like, stop it. Get some help. Sometimes we just be knowing. Like, our intuition just be telling us what it is. If you don't got that intuition, don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. Sometimes me and my. This is from a guy. So, yeah, this is the quest type of questions that guys give me, I guess. I don't really know. But, um, this is definitely from a guy. Hold on. Sometimes me and my friends share thoughts. Do women ever do that? Hmm. Let me think. Hey girl, so let me tell you about this dude I've been messing with. Like, yeah, girl, tell me. I ain't gonna lie, his pockets is up there, girl. His game is popping. Like, but I don't really like him like that. Like, his personality is a little shy. It don't even really matter, right? Like, get a piece of that girl, cause. We all need that in our life. Give me his Instagram, give me his number, give me something. Because I'm getting something out of him, whether it's dick or money, bitch, I'm in there. If you really think we do that, oh my god. Like, no, no. I know I'm speaking for a lot of women right now, but I don't want nothing that my friend touched. Like, if my friend had it, I do not want it. Like, <laughs> one thing I did see happen, though, let me not even lie, but it didn't happen with me, but it happened to these two friends that I knew. Like, they was really good friends. And basically one best friend had a sugar daddy. She never really had to do stuff with him like sexually, but she was getting money from this dude. She definitely put her friend onto the sugar daddy and they both was getting money out of this dude. I don't know if that counts as sharing, but they definitely got the bag out of him. Gotcha, bitch. Uh next question, because that was funny. <laughs> um, next question. Shaving or wax? Well, all my life I pretty much shaved. I never really got like ingrowns or bumps or nothing like that. Like I never really even got like pigmentation off of shaving. Um, recently I actually started to wax. I actually did a vlog on my first time going to get a wax. Started waxing and I never went back to shaving. So, like I will let my shade grow out and everything. Maybe this is TMI, but this is a TMI girl talk. So sometimes I even would let my fucking hair grow. Like if I miss an appointment or my wax lady is not in, like I will definitely miss that appointment and let my hair grow out. So whenever she come back or whenever I make an appointment. So, but there's nothing wrong with shaving at all. When feeling like number two in love or friendship, what is your advice? That feeling is really like heartbreaking. Like to feel like number two when you really want to be like their priority. Here's tea. Here's something that you can do to test it out. But 
if this don't work out girl you got to go like you just gotta debt the whole situation whether it's a friendship or uh you know a relationship whatever it is first of all you got to express how you feeling to the person oh hell no if you feel like you can't express to them then don't even worry about being number one listen i'm feeling like this blase blase right that's one thing that you can do another thing that you can do is definitely changing making them your first choice like basically changing the dialogue so if you're used to always waiting on them to call you waiting on them to text you or you know it goes back and forth try being the first one to do that for them so text them first or call them first and see how that works out see if it changes anything because sometimes i'm more of a i'll wait and see if they text me but most times when i take the initiative to do it first like it becomes a consistent thing where we're doing it back and forth whether it's friendship family um partnership like it don't matter if i take the initiative to do something first I feel like I'm showing them that this is what I want so therefore that energy will like kind of like bounce back to me in a way but if it's not doing that then they probably just not that into you and they using you as a rebound anyway so feeling number two is what you always gonna feel <laughs> I'm I'm so tired. But don't start doing too much if they not returning the energy girl cause then you just gonna look thirsty and no ma'am no we we ain't finna be looking thirsty all right um the next question is sex on your period y'all really y'all really on some tmi shit like but there's nothing that a towel in a shower can't fix baby like <gasps> what what we is grown but if your partner is your partner and you feel me they can't even try it for you like they too young like i just feel like they mentally young if your man is there and he like Unless it's like, I don't want to do that because that's nasty. Grow the fuck up. Grow up. Even if a girl is saying, like, that's nasty, like, girl, grow up. Try something new. You never know how you'll like it. I'm just saying because for me, it feels... I don't know if it's because I'm a little hornier when I'm on my menstrual, but it feels a little more better, like... Disgusting. I don't know. Like, the, the, the ejaculation is just, bam, like, it's like like a explosion like not messy wise like not like psh, no like just the way the feeling in your body like it, i don't know i don't know don't judge me don't judge me don't do that don't do that don't do that don't judge me i'm just trying to be very transparent with you guys because you know that sibling like some of us never really had somebody to feel comfortable to ask weird ass questions to and I just want to be that getaway or that that open gate for you guys whether you're a guy or a girl like sometimes sometimes my bros come to me for advice and i'm a female and sometimes my little sisters come to me you feel me so i just want to be that gateway to answer some awkward tmi questions so i'm gonna be very transparent with you guys or whatever um the last the last uh girl talk that i had was very more into deep conversations but i'm gonna be like going back and forth to deep and tmi because tmi is really juicy and sometimes funny deep conversations is really therapeutical so i like to do both okay guys so okay my camera died but we're back let's do this one pads or tampons i was wearing pads my whole life but um now that i'm a little older i started to wear tampons but pads is like more so like when i have a heavy period um it's definitely for one of those days and then when i wear tampons i still actually wear panty liners i don't know if that's weird or whatever but like unless it's like a hot day if it's hot outside i'm not wearing no panty i'm not wearing no panty liner like i'll take the risk but i don't really be trusting a lot of stuff so tampons is one of them like if i start bleeding outside i'm gonna be like oh, oh my god oh my god like ah! no like no no but i do prefer tampons because it's more comfortable i can do more things with it and it's just my conscience like i hate that i know y'all women be getting that thought like yo am i bleeding like check my pants like you be telling your friend like check my pants like that's me like if i'm with you and, and i got my period i'm gonna ask you all day like yo can you check my pants sis like i think i'm bleeding like and it's nothing it's just really much our conscience and that's like it's so normal like but it's mad annoying like come on okay next one whoa this is really in details okay um this one says two guys one block had sex with one other one was just a fling am i terrible for that one is my man still that's t that's t y'all if that ain't tea, I don't, I don't know what it is. 
that's definitely tea but first of all pick up your crown here I'll, I'll hand it to you here you go pick up your crown sis first of all wear that shit proudly because what two guys one block so they from the same area i'm assuming one you had sex with which is still your man the other one was just a, was just a fling so let me tell you right now, in my era, five guys, all cousins, one girl, same day, same night, same, same everything, same room, same at the same time, like, then we also had the three guys, one girl, same staircase, type of, type of shit going on. So, two guys, you only had sex with one that are, that you're dating now, other one was just a fling. Says, pick up your crown. You ain't got nothing to be ashamed about. Take a deep breath. Enjoy your man. That's one. Now, if your man got an issue, why is he with you? It's facts. It's facts. It's in our facts. These facts is in our facts. It's in our facts. Oh, big it's facts. facts. And if it's bothering you, like you feel like, dang, I should never did this, then probably like deep in your conscience, going against your morals in a way, because like. I don't know, I, I feel like subconsciously we always have thoughts that if they're wrong for us, if they're bad for our life and they just don't fit, we kind of have those thoughts where it haunts us in a way until we leave the situation alone. So if that's the case, then you gotta leave the situation You gotta leave, if that's the case, you gotta leave the situation alone. Dang, I can't speak. Like, anyways, next question is how to get over someone 100%. Time heals everything, that's one. Focus on yourself, whether it's your goals, um, you read self-help books. Do everything that you ever wanted to do while you was in that relationship and now that you got free time and all that good stuff. Make sure you do it now that you're single. Just so you don't have that I'm bored and oh, so I'm gonna hit him up or hit her up like type of mentality. Oh, oh, I, I'm just so lonely. And now, if it gets to the lonely part, make sure you surround yourself with someone. Like whether it's friends, family, someone new that you're talking to that's, you know, grabbing your attention from time to time. You ain't really got to like the person but someone to like give you energy like that's different than what you just went through you get what i'm saying like first of all your friends should be hyping you up like hyping you the fuck up like sis you could do better let's go let's go to the bar let's go do something like your friends should really be hyping you up and if they not girl get you some new friends that's one. Oh, okay second um do not be chilling around the negative family like not the family that's gonna keep talking about him like type stuff you know we have them negative family members that just bring up people that is from your past and it's just like sis let it go they not here no more so like i said though time heals every time heals most things so let me put it like that let me correct myself because everything yeah it don't heal everything but it does allow you to cope with it and learn to live with it you get what i'm saying so yeah that's a better a way to put it next question so i just got this question like right before i started recording and i thought it was a good question so the question is how often should guys go to the doctor like when it's too long i feel like if you're not sexually active once or twice a year is cool it's fine because you're not sexually active you're not um putting your body through new fluids and all of that extra stuff but now if you're sexually active baby i feel like you should even if you kissing somebody you should go more than two times a year because body fluids include kissing and yeah but um if you're sexually active then definitely definitely after every partner go check yourself yeah you just don't want to be the one to be giving people or oh i almost dropped this you don't want to be the one to be giving these people all type of crazy diseases and yeah that's just not it after every partner is major and just check yourself because y'all people be dirty not just guys people be dirty period if it sounds like i'm rushing through this i i solely apologize it's only because i'm about to go to new york so i'm trying to record a video before i go to new york because who's to say i'm going to be able to record a video in new york so yeah i'm just trying to you know get the content for y'all look at me coming through like i'm trying, trying guys can y'all give me that can y'all have me on my back like i'm trying for not only you but for myself like this is something i want to do so I gotta keep it going, you feel me? And I got a lot of stuff going on, but if this is something that I want to do, then this I gotta make this a priority, okay? <laughs> anyway, next question. Um, how do you stop yourself from comparing yourself to others? This is a good question, y'all. Especially like the like the world we live in now, like with social media and all that extra stuff, it's just but what I can say is discipline, 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 discipline. 
this one this blend but it's let me just tell y'all it's very normal to get that urge to compare yourself to somebody whether it's their lifestyle their mentalities and or even their look let's just say when we was younger we um see a kid with something that our mom can't afford so now we jealous and then we get to adults and we like dang like like that girl got my dream job or that boy got my dream woman like my dream lady like and then we start to compare ourselves to those people that have those things that we don't mm -mm. i have three ways that you can stop comparing yourself to somebody so the first one is major 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 stop clocking other people's success and just focus on your own and be grateful for your own like be grateful and work towards what you want just focus on your your stuff because on the other side the grass is not greener you never know what that person did to get the, in that position you never know what that person is going through while having that position so just focus on your stuff and don't clock nobody else's situation i'm not saying that you gotta like be deriding somebody else's situation if they're in a higher position than you but make sure that you always embrace those people that are above you if not on the same level as you instead of looking at that person with jealousy you can embrace them with you feel me like networking with them and just learning from their experience so that your experience can be a slight bit easier you get what i'm saying the last one is never have the thought process of why them and not me like that I can't I can't express how much that mentality just it just makes you look like an ungrateful motherfucker like be grateful for what you got always trust your own process because if you don't trust it how is anybody else gonna have faith in you in any type of way be a more so like oh I'm I'm next up if not right next to them type of type of person that's gonna push you to do better than that person if not catch up to that person then eventually do better than that person you get what i'm saying i know y'all feel what i'm saying social media is really bad like it really messes with your head and try following people that like are less flashy and more humble that do the same things that you do if you're a girl follow women that look more like you like and things like, like things in that nature only because social media can really mess with a person's head and I would hate for you to lose yourself over social media. Like, that's one thing that I don't want to happen to nobody, but I see it happening so often and it's so annoying. So the next question is, how do you get a guy to like you? Be you, do you, keep calm. Like, make sure you have that confidence always. Even if you're faking it. Fake it till you make it is a real thing because that dream works. But even if you're faking it, make sure you have that confidence within yourself. Make sure you, you got something going for yourself because if you're going, let's say if you like a man that or a woman that got something going for themselves. A woman or a man is definitely going to spot that if they got things going for themselves. You get what I'm saying? Because they're not going to have time to take care of you, to nurture you, to... They're not going to have time for that because they got things going for themselves. So if they see that you don't... You're not compatible in that manner, it's definitely going to be a red flag to them. The last thing is like the keep calm part. So let's say you out... You in an outing with this person. Eye contact once in a while is cool, but don't be on no creepy stuff. Like, don't be like, I fuck I'm like, no, no, don't be on no timing like that. But once in a while, you know when, it, like, when you're in a club and you feel somebody looking at you and you just look like, oh, okay, like, you feel what I'm saying, like that. What happened, baby? You want to say hi to them? Say hi. Look. Say hi. Oh, she wants you to see Poppy. <laughs> Mommy's almost done, okay? And then we leaving. Yeah, like I said, like don't be I don't be I fucking them, but like just you know, once in a while glance over there like, oh I see you looking zeddy or mommy, whoever it is, like I see you looking, but just keep it calm. Now if they having a conversation and you know it's close to you, if it's far from you, do not try to run over there and get up in that conversation. But if it's close and you can like throw your little one twos into it, cool. Do that too. Like throw your little one two, you feel me? Show them like you feel me? You got some a good head on your shoulders in some type of way, like. But do not be going out your way to do that. Don't don't look thirsty. Don't like I said, we don't like to look thirsty, y'all. None of that thirsty stuff over here. We like to keep it cute because we we good with or without you, boo. Okay, okay. Like <laughs> I was just saying, like we good with or without you, but we we might like you in our little little bubble once in a while. You feel me? So this is definitely gonna be my last. Yeah. Layla, Layla. Huh? Shh. All right, I'm almost done, okay? Layla, I got one more question. I'm going to do one more question and that's it. No, you shush. 
Anyways, um, she's probably not gonna stop talking, y'all. So just bear with me. I know you guys can hear me, so don't play. Do you love yourself? And if so, when was the first time you realized it? So I definitely love myself, um, in ways that I never thought that I would before. When I started to love myself, I realized it like, okay, so during my pregnancy, I was on a self-care journey without even noticing it. So in my mind, I always um kept while I was pregnant, like, oh, I wanna um better myself so that I could love myself. Um, so I could love my child that was always stuck in my mind I just didn't know how to do it and I didn't even realize that I was doing it during my pregnancy I was definitely cutting out toxic energy whether it's family. I don't care who it is I'm cutting it out like I just really more so started to protect my energy while I was pregnant So I was I was looked at as bitchy moody like oh, she's very distant She don't she don't pull up on us no more like I didn't have no care in the world about what people thought so all of that you know what people thought about me was out the window like it was like away from me like i literally was in a bubble where i was pregnant like literally like and i loved it so much because it allowed me to grow in ways that i wasn't doing so when i wasn't pregnant when i wasn't protecting my energy so at the time i definitely had it hard because I was going through a lot of stuff, but I definitely had a solid foundation for, um, basically, what do you call it? Like, um, like a support system. I had a solid foundation with a support system, and that was my partner. I had solid grounds with that person, so it was more so, it was definitely helping me in ways that she didn't even know that she was helping me, but it was definitely helping me build, focus on myself, um, allow myself to love myself because i had someone there not not feeling like not taking sucking up my my energy and you know just taking my soul really but um when i had my baby my self-love started to blossom so even outside of seeing it and just was like wow like you grew in ways that i would have never saw you grow like you feel what i'm saying so within that time and after i got pregnant i just was more confident i was more connected to my body i came to acceptance with past traumas that I was dealing with while I was pregnant, before I was pregnant, before anything. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I was definitely like coming to acceptance with things that I had gone through in my past, whether it's before my pregnancy, during my pregnancy. I definitely came to acceptance for most things. There's still some that, and that's why some story times haven't came out because it's still some that I'm like trying to channel. But you feel what I'm saying? I was definitely pushing through adversity and wanting to work on my goals more and work on myself. And that showed me like, I'm starting to love myself. Like I want to do better for myself. So that's showing that I, the growth in my love for myself. Just know that it's never too late to start loving yourself. It's never too late to start that self love journey. Um, and if anybody told you that, just make sure you tell them fuck off. Cause I know there's some people that be like, oh, you would never love yourself. You would this, you that. It's never too late to love yourself. Anyways, I don't want to get too much in debt about that. Just make sure you always invest and look into yourself, whether it's self-love, goals, anything in that nature. Just make sure you dedicate time and discipline into those type of things, okay? Anyways, without further ado, this is the end of my little girl slash real talk and all that good stuff. I hope you guys really enjoyed it because I definitely enjoyed recording it. Make sure you guys go follow my team's page. We are still doing that game up until the end of October because the party bus and Fright Fest is on the 30th. So we're definitely still doing that. I do have updates on my Instagram, so make sure you follow my Instagram. Make sure you comment down below any other videos that you want to see. Make sure you drop down questions that you might have for my next girl slash real talk. Hit that subscribe button. If you here watching to the end of the video, why would you not want to hit that subscribe button? Okay. Hit that post notification button as well so that you can always be on point with the main babe. Later babies.